Welcome back to another season of Ventures. This is season 16, so we get another installment of Blasted Badlands. That brings in the Rage modifier, where you do not generate energy at all. Energy generation heroes will still work, so Fossil Southie is going to be like the king of the season. Uh, Anti Cuddle Sarah, Fallen Love Ranger Jonesy, Dennis, who should be in the shop, but right now, as of uh, launch day, we actually have Dennis Jr., which is different than Dennis, but even better because he gives you totally rocking out. So if, if he's still in the shop when this video is live, uh, go grab him. Uh, if he actually gets removed and then comes back when he should later on, uh, get him then. He's very good for totally rocking out. But you don't generate any energy. You get it from heroes or damaging enemies with weapons uh, will get you energy. And then abilities all across the board, every single ability has improved cooldowns and effectiveness. So you'll do more damage and wait less time to use them. It's a really, really good modifier. Super straightforward. And this powerful traps is just this one mission, so the rage modifier does not include that. So, uh, yeah, pretty good. If you're interested in running any loadouts for it, I've got my old video. This is still perfectly fine. Nothing about these heroes or this video has changed at all. My shelf may be gone and it might have been night when I recorded this, but it's still a good video. If you want some loadouts to get you started with the season, I highly recommend checking this out. It will be linked down below. And I also want to say that the hit the road is also here the hit the road uh game mode is here if you're interested in any loadouts or a, a big guide for that and exactly how to run it i'll link that down below as well as it is relevant to the season hit the road isn't good for too much other than the banner that gives you that so if you can beat it 140 with no damage you'll get that banner uh otherwise there are quite a few quests associated but it's not crazy great i, I still think you should do it you know fossil selfie is available through this quest and there are a number of rewards i will show the timeline now so if you're in a dark room uh, i'm sorry i like light mode that's just how it's gonna be but uh hit the road gives you all these rewards rex jonesy is available for the very first week so odds are if you're watching this video after the first week he's he's gone he's gone but you should definitely get him if you're watching this as of release uh what out fiona's coming around she's really really good fossil selfie like i said with dennis jr he's here early i i don't know why but grab him while you can before he goes away i think he's worth having zelia clark is really nice um I should say Azelia Clark, not Azelia. Paleo Luna is fantastic. We have lots of great stuff coming out this season. And then this is, of course, what Hit the Road gives. I'm recording this on stream, Twitch link down below. So I know chat's kind of covering part of that, but it doesn't really matter because the timeline's linked down below. You should have it bookmarked anyway. I get asked when Ventures ends every single season. As far as I'm aware, we are expecting it to end. September 4th was last year, but the dates got shifted around a little bit. Some of the weeks weren't full weeks, so it, it might be September 6th sometime early September. All right, stay tuned on the channel towards the end of the season because I'll be announcing it. I basically do a countdown in my daily series and uh, I'll, I'll try to keep you guys informed, but that timeline will get updated as we get information. So bookmarking it is highly recommended. Now, here are the rewards for the season. Uh, this will be linked down below. Thank you, Cavson, for setting up the site. These are all the uh, all the highlights on the left. These are the summaries of everything you get total. These are the exciting drops that you get throughout the season right here. And if you want to expand it, you can see everything you get in between. You get tickets and gold and drops of rain and all this good stuff. And then at level 50 or 2,310,300 ventures xp you will be level 50 if you're interested in completing it and definitely don't skip out on your quests as they have really good rewards at the end i am having trouble formatting this because my chat is covering everything but there you go so all of these different quests give you core re perks survivor superchargers trap all these things all these things are very 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 useful and uh, of course you can expand this if you want to see the exact xp amounts but most people don't need that um it also tells you the exact quests you need and that's a big tip i give every single season and that is for the first game of the season do not run an atlas mission let's see if i can find it right here yeah i think it's let's find it down here so in the mission quests you will have a mission for completing a mission. You can just run any zone you want. I personally started with a resupply because you need to farm up anyway. I recommend a farming loadout. I'll link my video on farming loadouts down below because it's uh, really, really useful to get started to just run Clipper Southie. And if you can find a resupply mission in like a power level 15 zone, that is really, really good. I'll actually show it. So this is going to be gone probably shortly after this video goes live, but maybe there'll be something similar. This is my very first mission. The reason I'm being so particular about this is because you're very next Next quest is fight the storm. So you don't want to run an atlas and then complete your mission only to have to run an atlas immediately again. Today we were lucky day one of the season to get two atlas missions, but that's not always the case. In fact, we got really lucky this season because after you run an atlas, you need to run to retrieve the data and a ride the lightning. So these first three quests are actually really, um, really useful and um, 
That's a good. Uh, that's a good one. It's interesting. This says retrieve the data mission in a 15 plus. I'm 99% sure that was retrieve the data and ride the lightning. Maybe I'm wrong, but either way, uh, it's good to play that in order so you don't mess it up. Actually, I'm gonna keep that page open here because I also wanna talk about the superchargers. I'm gonna have quite a few videos linked down below for your benefit. So superchargers are really, really good in this game for making your weapons, heroes, traps, survivors better. Survivor superchargers are exactly how you hit max power level in this game. It's 145. You cannot reach that yet. As of right now, or at least last season, the max power level was just under 143. The new max power level is 143.5 a number that only nerds know. If Archer's in the stream chat, he can drop it up there. You guys can look for it or not, but superchargers are really good. I will link my video down below. I'll have two videos. One video is how to spend your superchargers and my advice for what is best. And second, what I personally spent my superchargers on. That's kind of useful to some people. Some people are actually pretty interested in like, you know, I make a bunch of guide videos and I tell you guys what you should do, but what did, what did I do? So if you're curious, that video is down there as well. Hero and weapon vouchers are also super important. I have two new videos on those because this season we actually, or last season, I guess, we had an update where some heroes that were voucherable are now flexible. There are a lot of really good weapons and heroes that are now flexible. And in my opinion, I'm not just saying this. I, I honestly believe that legendary flux at rewards level 16 and 22 are currently just as if not more valuable than the vouchers so a lot of people stop at level 20 because they get that hero voucher and they dip out i don't blame you ventures is kind of a grind but i i think you should go to 22 and uh and, and get that legendary flux if you're just working on getting heroes and stuff um yeah now if you're curious what you should get with those that's where i was going with this my new hero voucher and voucher i'm sorry my hero hero voucher and weapon voucher videos should be out linked down below i have new flux videos in progress the hero flux video should be out soon the weapon one is recorded it's being edited it is a giant project so definitely check that out when it comes out uh subscribe i will link my old flux videos down below they are perfectly good you will get excellent suggestions it's just that some weapons like the xenon bow pot shot the atomizer what's the big four? Oh, not the not the discharger i'm, I'm always vacuum tubo those big four weapons are all flexible now they're all excellent um but other than that there are just great recommendations in those flux videos <gasps> Those will be linked down below. And I want to talk about Core Reperk because Core Reperk lets you change the six perks on your weapon. So if you have Snare and you want Affliction, you can use that. If you've got some random six perk for your melee and you want Crit Hits Cause Explosion, you need Core Reperk. I'll have my video linked down below talking about not just where you should spend your Core Reperk, but because the topic covers six perks, it's kind of a guide to every six perk in the game. It's actually super useful even if you're not spending a Core Reperk. That video will be linked down below just if you want to expand on any of these topics. If I should have said this a lot sooner, Sooner. If you want a video on how to speedrun ventures better, I'll have that down below to get more XP faster. That is a super, super useful guide. But um, yeah, it's uh, it's a lot to cover. It's a lot to get. There's a lot going on with with ventures, and uh, these are the rewards I've been staring at them this whole time. Like I said, e even if my overlay is kind of covering you with the code Mista, I, I think you should check out the 49DB links uh, site link down below. Uh, Cav does. Um, does get revenue from ads on this site and um yeah <laughs> i i donate to him and then i i block the ads that's, that's how i support him so uh yeah thank you for watching enjoy the new season comment down below if you have any questions subscribe if you want to see more stay tuned for more uploads twitch link down below <gasps> goodbye